The Rainbow Wagon really came about through a campaign that the Thrive Committee has been running over the last couple of years. Uh, we've been transforming some of our largest and most visible assets in the business into rainbow colours in support of the LGBTQ plus community. What that really does is it gives visibility to our people of diverse sexualities and genders on sites. And it really sends a clear message that, hey, Rio Tinto is a safe place to work and you can bring your whole self to work when you turn up for your shift. Uh, I've been responsible since July last year for repairing off-track damaged and derailed all cars. So this particular all car had one whole half cut off and another scrap all car from the previous year has been cut, up, cut to pieces and welded onto this one. So the idea was that it was just going to get painted to the normal livery and put back into service. But I've got this one being painted. Why don't we uh, do this one in the rainbow colours locally? Happy and proud to be a part of the project and been doing this project collaboratively with Rio Tinto. Uh, we've got a lot of diverse workforce within our business, culturally and gender. And I think just having, the, having this wagon on the network will help promote it across the Kilba as well and, and make people think about it. And yeah, happy to be done by a 100% local workforce. Um, so yeah, very proud of the team. This framework wagon is a really clear symbol that people of diverse sexualities and genders are welcome in our workplace. And how at Rail we are finding better ways to connect with each other in a diverse and inclusive environment. People are more likely to stay in jobs, they're more productive, they're better working together to problem solve, and they're more engaged and innovative. We hope that this gesture generates excitement amongst our team and also the broader community. And it is a starting point for a positive conversation around greater acceptance and inclusion of people with different backgrounds. Isn't she spectacular? We know that 11% of Australians identify as part of the LGBTQ plus community but less than a third of them are actually out and proud at work. So we, we really have a lot more to do um, to make sure that those people feel safe in their everyday work environment. What a fantastic event. I think as you think about people at our heart and building culture, it's all about the symbols we create in the workplace. And for me today, you see two symbols. We clearly see a symbol about inclusion and diversity here, which is awesome but you also see a symbol about partnership with local suppliers and what we can do together. And I think that's exactly the type of culture we're trying to build. So my congratulations to everyone involved. It's fantastic to see. Look forward to seeing this run around the network. Well done. <laughs>